Within Zachary Taylor National Cemetery is a private plot where Taylor's family members are buried. Gary Mattingly manages the site and is a descendant of Taylor. So this has kind of become my job very recently. I don't have a lot of experience managing a cemetery. Uh, that's not my day-to-day -day job. My day-to-day -day job is taking care of my kiddos. The new role is posing new challenges while uncovering a dark and painful past. There's just this sort of wrong hanging in the air of these people that are unmarked. Mattingly says documentation from a family historian details that 52 slaves of the former president were possibly buried on a hill in the designated family plot between 1823 and 1850. Their graves are unmarked. And my initial reaction when I heard it the first time was that that's got to be one of those urban legends, honestly. Uh, it, it did not sound like something that was that was truly real. The history of slave graves. They would just be dumped in mass graves or unmarked graves. And the treatment of black people in life and death is real and raw. What does it say about us and how we value black life if we're not even marking where people who once living who were once living now lie. According to Simmons College history professor Dr. Jamar Tisby, only recently following the racial reckoning of 2020 have steps been taken towards reparation. Justice delayed is justice denied, but if we can take action now, then perhaps we can interrupt the cycle of injustice. Mattingly is working to correct the historic wrong by properly identifying and memorializing the forgotten. One method commonly used is ground penetrating radar, where underground areas are mapped using radar pulses. One company successfully discovering thousands of unmarked burial sites across the country with this is Omega Mapping Services. Every one of those represents a gallon of tears that have been poured in the ground around that grave. For Mattingly, the hope through this project is to finally honor those who have been dishonored. If we can do whatever that they would want for closure so that their ancestors are properly respected, I feel like all the options should be on the table. From Louisville, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.